Hey guys, and welcome back to another What I Eat in a Day, where I show you guys some really easy, healthy recipes that you can make. Of course, they are all delicious, and yeah, I basically show you what I eat in a day. If you are new to my channel, a, subscribe, but B, just so you know, I am gluten-free, mainly paleo, I'm dairy-free, and I do follow intermittent fasting. So, it is time for breakfast. It is about 10 a.m., almost 10, and I'm going to make some paleo porridge with like some frozen berries on top, hemp hearts, and cinnamon. It is snowy outside. We got like a gigantic snowfall in Toronto yesterday. There's snow on the ground. It's a cool morning, a nice, cozy, warm bowl of porridge. Sounds honestly so delicious. I also add collagen to it for some protein. We've got healthy fats, fiber, all of that to keep you full. And one of the things I love about it is that it keeps me full for a bit so that I'm not hungry in like an hour or two and like I can make it to lunch. So that's one of the things I love about this paleo porridge. So this is everything we're going to need for the porridge. So this makes the base of the porridge. We have almond flour. I like to add some collagen into it. This is my favorite like almond milk by far. It's only three ingredients, no gums or anything like that. Some nut butter and some flax. And then I'm gonna be topping it with some frozen berries, cinnamon and hemp hearts. I have been obsessed with hemp hearts lately. Um, also like hemp hearts with cinnamon and berries I've been obsessed with. Hemp hearts are great for you. They're loaded with omega-3s, they've got protein, and they're also like just really delicious on top of like porridge and that. So this is my cozy bowl of porridge. We have our frozen berries. We have the porridge that I topped with cinnamon, hemp hearts, and I actually ended up adding some bee pollen in. Bee pollen is really good. It's good for lots of like amino acids, but it also has lots of B vitamins. And B vitamins is a necessary cofactor for tons of processes in the body. So it's really important to make sure you get enough B vitamins. breakfast was so good it honestly hit the spot if you didn't notice I did have a slight outfit change I was too hot in that sweater you know when like it's winter so you put on like a thick sweater but then it's like you're too hot in that sweater so you need a sweater but it's like a lighter sweater anyways apparently I'm running warm today so I need to switch to a lighter sweater same gray I mean most of my closet is honestly gray I like gray um, but we had to switch to a lighter sweater I think I'm going to go get some groceries now. We just went into lockdown again um, where I live, which basically means like you can go to the grocery store, but like you can't go into basically any other shops except for like food shops. And you're not supposed to hang out with people and all that kind of stuff. So I wanna do like a nice big stock up because I'm out of fresh veggies. I have some frozen ones, but not enough for the week. So I thought I would go today because the rest of the week is kind of crazy for me um, and I won't be able to get to the store. I do like going to like a local market. It's kind of like a mini grocery store, but it's owned obviously like by a small business, by a family. So I like going there to support them. So I really encourage you guys, if you can, to not go to big chains right now and really go to like small shops, local shops and support local business and really help them out right now. Um, Cause yeah, especially if you are gonna buy things anyway, you might as well buy them from, you know, people who have a small business. So I've just been working away, but now it is time for lunch. What time is it? One, oh, almost one, like five to one. I'm gonna make, well, not, they're not breakfast tacos because they're gonna be lunch. They're gonna be like tacos with some roasted broccoli. Um, I'm really trying to eat through some of the things that I have in the freezer and make meals with like freezer and pantry items. So we're gonna make like tacos with roasted broccoli, but the tacos are gonna be like egg avocado mushroom taco so this is everything i'm using these are the tacos that i like to use they're from the brand unbun they're called untortillas they're grain free keto um and everything like that so there's no grains low carb etc a couple eggs i have some cremini mushrooms some organic ones that we're going to cook up with the eggs we'll put some avocado on it i have half an avocado and then i'm going to roast some broccoli this is just some frozen broccoli so that we get some greens in with our tacos
So these are my lunch tacos. I put the avocado on the bottom. We have our egg, mushroom in our wraps, some broccoli, and then I covered it with everything but the bagel spice. So good and delicious. So it is time for one of my favorite things to drink in the afternoon. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I love a ceremonial cacao. This one is from Keith's. He is the shaman of cacao, but honestly, ceremonial cacao is just Oh, it's so good. Not only is it loaded with antioxidants and magnesium, but because it's ceremonial grade, it also helps you to connect to higher consciousness and decalcify the pineal gland. So we are a huge fan. And like I said, Keith's is my favorite. I'm going to make some and honestly take a few moments to enjoy. It's very snowy. It's a very wintry day. I'm going to take a little break from work and enjoy my cacao and make this like delicious drink. It is quite bitter on its own. I don't add any sweet sweetener to it. Um, I just drink it on its own, but you could add sweetener to it if you want it. So I'm gonna take a few moments now and enjoy my cacao. Oh, it's so good. Hey guys, I have been working away. I am ready for a snack. I don't wanna eat too much because like I eat dinner early. I'm gonna eat dinner in like an hour. So I'm having some of these stamina roasted baru seeds um they're actually not a nut they're a seed um even though they're called baru nuts they're actually a seed so they're seed free um they just have a little bit of salt on them and that's it i've been working away if you guys um want to join well nourished it is open for another i think week maybe two weeks by the time you're seeing this video i'm not quite sure but if you need help with healthy eating if you want to learn how to make it a lifestyle if you want to know how to stick to it if you want to you know really just do the deep work for all of it. If you're sick and tired of like calorie counting or macro counting or wondering why diets don't stick and you're bloated and your skin's breaking out and you just want to fix all of that and have energy and feel great in your body, then join Wellner. So I've been working on some stuff for that. I've been I'm working on some podcast stuff. I just recorded an intro. If you haven't listened to my podcast yet, definitely go subscribe to it. It's available on iTunes and Spotify. I will leave those down below. It's called the Live Well Podcast. I put out at least one episode a week, sometimes two, on lots of like wellness content and everything like that. So if you like my videos, you will definitely love that. It's like a longer form version where you get to learn lots and lots of stuff. So that is what I'm doing right now. And I'm really, well, dinner's already prepped. I mean, I'll show you guys when I have it, but dinner's already prepped so we don't have too much to do for that. Okay guys, it is time for dinner. It is what, five? And luckily I meal prepped some shepherd's pie. It was so delicious. I use like a cauliflower slash butternut squash mash on the top and then the inside is just gra grass fed ground beef, Brussels sprouts, mushrooms, tomato paste, and like bone broth. I'm gonna show you in a second. Let me just get it out of the fridge. So obviously it's cold right now, but I'm gonna take some out and scoop it up to heat up in the oven. And those are like the two layers. Honestly, it's so easy to do and so delicious. And it made like a whole big thing of this so I can have this for a few days. So 
here is my warmed up shepherd's pie. It is so good. I love like the, the mash on the top. We've got protein loaded veggies and it's such like a warm comforting meal, especially when it's all snowy and cold outside. So I just warmed up this cookie. This is a hack. This is like my pumpkin scale cookie. I'll link the video down below. Um, but when you turn your oven off after heating something up, I just put in like a cookie from the freezer or something like that. And it gently warms it up to like the perfect temperature without overcooking it. It's honestly so moist and delicious and gooey. I've been watching Grey's Anatomy while we eat and we're going to finish eating. Honestly, this cookie is so good. I'm really excited to dig in. So I hope you guys enjoyed that what I eat in a day and got to see some good healthy meal inspiration. I'm going to leave my last what I ate in a day here on the screen so you can check it out and next. Leave me any requests you have for any future recipes or videos down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.